All right, guys, we are into the draft, and it's just begun. Winners, semifinals, come, or winners, finals coming up here right now. Is, of course, there is only going to be a winners, finals, losers, finals. The first uh, losers bracket is going to be played simultaneously during this, so we'll be watching the winners, finals. We'll be going straight into the losers bracket finals, and then we'll be going into the finals, finals with the winner of the winners bracket having a one-game advantage in the best of seven finals. Again, this is a best of five. So a little bit of a longer series. So far, we've seen Watchpoint, Gibraltar banned out, and Route 66. Nothing too surprising there. Ilios and Nepal also getting banned out. But you know what? Actually, surprisingly, guys, we have all of the two CPs in the pool still. We could still end up with Hollywood, Dorado, Kings Row. But it's getting to the point where they have to literally ban all of the two CPs if they don't want to have one. And, uh... No, actually, no, there's going to have to be one. There's going to have to be one 2CP in this, actually. It's a best of five. So these are our five maps. Hannah Murder is going to go out in Volskaya Industries, Nubani. So our deciding map will be Volskaya. If it makes it to the fifth match, we're going to be going to Volskaya. Fourth is going to be Dorado. Third will be Nubani. Second map is going to be... Eh, i probably guess Hollywood and then King's Row. You know, King's Row. King's Row. It's always King's Row. No surprise there, right? Like, it's it's never anything different. And, okay, King's Row. Like, just a copper face, right? Like, never would have guessed otherwise, right? Like, why would teams ever go to anything besides King's Row, guys? It's just, it's just King's Row. So, we'll be going ahead and pulling up Overwatch now. As you guys can see, the lobby is underway and getting made up here. Go ahead and make that a little bit bigger for you guys so it is easier to see. There you go. Let me go ahead and tell the teams that I am ready to go. So, what is going to end up happening in this series, guys? I don't know. Of course, one of these teams will be knocked out. One of these teams, or knocked into the loser's bracket. The other team will be going into the, um, what do you call it? Uh... Losers bracket, one of the teams will be going straight into the finals. The team that makes it straight into the finals is guaranteed to be making um, at least 70 euros in this. Um, of course, second place getting 70, first place getting 120. So winning this match is incredibly important for your place in the bracket, as of course that always matters a lot in that respect. You don't want to have to play the long way up the bracket. You always want to play up the short side, as um, the less games that you have to play to win money, the better. And... Uh, Yeah, well, you guys banned it. Yeah. Okay. So, I might be getting lobby leader, guys, so it might mean I have to take control of that, too. And that is fine. <laughs> uh, just make me do it. Just make me. Like, nah, just Raptors. Just, just do it, man. Just do it. It's all you. All right. So once Mythic gets out of here, guys, and both the teams have readied up, we'll be getting right into this. Now King's Row. Entering. I'm going to be switching the title for you guys or this uh, screen, and we'll be Prepare moving to... to this okay cool. so it is going to be a best of five it is going to be choke taking on other team oh, sorry guys this takes me just a second to get set up here for you guys so it is all seamless for the rest of the cast and uh clear that because we don't need that right now and then there we go guys we'll be into the action here switching to overwatch and um into the game. So here we go, guys. Mythic, have you left yet? Feel free. Okay. So Anna is not banned. Interesting. So no one has chosen to use it yet, and they've been getting absolutely tooled by the... Um... What do you call it? The, uh, the Zenyatas. And you know what counters Zenyatta right now, guys? A biotic grenade. We'll see if that ends up happening in this series. I'd be excited to see it. We will see. And, um... 
Let's get going, guys. On the defense for the side of not other team. Cho. Is going to be Darius picking up the. That's right, Reinhardt. We fight, we fight, we fight. <laughs> the lore buff. Daria is going to be picking up the Mercy. We have Tazik on a Zenyatta, Christopher on a Reinhardt. Ox going to be over here on a um, Roadhog. Chipsa on the Junkrat. And that leaves Kissa over here on a McCree for the side of the offense. For other team, Mu going to be picking up the Zenyatta. Switching away from the Ana. We're going to have Harspin over here on a uh, Genji. We have Rila over here on a McCree. Balin going to be picking up the Zarya. Happy Thermia going to be on the Diva, And of course, that leads Fission. Maybe last but not least on that Lucia. And so far, the first kill could be going from Chipsa on to Rila. That's a big kill there. Can they continue off the back of that? Sorry for that bug, guys. It is just a bug with Diva right now. Hopefully, they get it fixed up soon. Chipsa getting himself a double kill so far as he knocked out the mech. He knocked out and ends up taking out. And Kissa now with a double kill as well. So the defense having a great start to this game so far. Ox going to be able to take out Balin and... That's going to be a cleaned up offense. First offensive attempt. It's going to be a uh, wash here as they weren't able to get anywhere with it. And the side of Choke Overwatch is going to be able to stabilize here this first attempt. Second attempt going to be coming out here in just a moment as Harspin is going to be getting closer and closer to that Dragon Blade. 54%. As looking for the dash. Going to be getting it onto the Mercy. Is on this Mercy in the background. Mercy's already taken a lot of damage and so is Harspin. Darius does end up going down, but can. Junkrat get the kill onto him. That's going to be the big question here. The dash might end up saving him. No, what a great use of that bomb there. But in the end, while we were watching that, guys, you know what ended up happening? Rila ended up going off, getting a lot of kills for his team. They're on control of the point. He's going to be looking for the shots onto the Rip Tire. And, well, he was mentally prepared for it. Easy shots, quick shots, quick kill. And that's going to go ahead and move the payload onto the map in the first minute and 30 seconds it takes them. Hop, there's the payload. Offensive push coming out here from the offense as they look to kind of punish the short spawns, maybe catch off this Zenyatta. Darius getting super low. We'll get behind the barrier before he ends up going down, and we'll get behind a corner. So should be safe for now. We'll be passively healed up, of course, by the, um, I believe the uh, Lucio should be there in just a second. And there we go, topping off that Darius. 200, 200 is now his HP. Defense, though, really lacking on the ultimate charge, whereas if we take a look at the uh, offensive side right now, you see 4, you see Mu, you see Harspin, and then Mu's dead. Harspin gonna be going for the Dragon Blade regardless, though. There's also a Sound Barrier to go ahead and top him off on HP. He's going for the Slash. He gets a lot of damage done. Does get the Deflect, but it's not enough. Ends up going down without any kills. Rila gonna be comboing off the back of that, though, with Valen, though. So far, that's a lot of kills. Two kills for him. Valen got one, and that's pretty much all of the fighting force. Teeth ripped out from the defense, and they're going to have to back up and pretty much surrender the second point here at this rate. They will have one more attempt to go ahead and defend it, but they're going to have to group up to get that attempt going as the payload will be moving much quicker here as the side of other team gets three members on it at once, but Choke having a hard time keeping their defense stable. Chips is going to switch over to that Genji to go ahead and stay on that more permanently. And McCree is still going to be over here for Kissa. And that's about it as far as it's going to be. There's an Earth Shatter. There's a Graviton Surge. How much does it end up doing the Graviton Surge? Not too much as there is. Of course, that Meditation. Transcendence. As Harspin ends up going down, that's a good big kill. Darius ends up getting himself another one. And Kissa right now doing a lot, getting big shots for his team. Chipsa pushing in even deeper, getting more kills for his team. Going to help clean up Mu. And now going to be going on to Fission. Fission's going to try to get away with that amp it up. He's gotten a lot of his HP back, but Dash, Melee. Fan point blank, that's going to do a lot of damage. And now the ultimate story has flip flopped, and the defense is going to be sitting on a lot of ultimates Dead Eye, Dragon Blade, Primal Rage, and Transcendence available for them. The rest of the ultimates are pretty low. Offense, actually, the only one that's really close is going to be Rila. He needs only about one or two good shots to be able to get that uh, up, and then once he does, they can do something with that. But until then, it is going to be a situation where if they don't get enough done, uh, it could be awkward. There's going to be the Transcendence going off. Will they get anything off of that with that dead eye? Kissa going to be able to get a kill on a one that's moving so far. That is actually just a massive amount of kills coming out from the defense so far. Chipsa, it's just a team wipe. Not even anything else to say. Chipsa gets himself a, a double kill. Ox gets himself a kill, a double kill. And Kissa gets the first kill with that dead eye. So... What's next for the side of the offense? What has the other team got up their sleeve to figure this out to get this game going in their favor? As of right now, four minutes on the clock. 
And they're getting stalled up in the streets. Hayes Valen's going to be able to take out Darius. That's what they need. Flank coming out here from Chipsets. He's looking to do as much as he can in the background. But that's actually going to turn Rila around. Rila's now going to get hounded down and ch chased down by Christopher. Who ends up getting good uh, right clicks onto him. Left clicks. Going to be able to take him down. Harspin taking out Chipsa. Valen onto Christopher. And now it's basically just all the defense cleaned up. They don't have anyone. As you saw, way at the back is going to be the Zenyatta. Nowhere anywhere near the fight to be able to participate. Kazakh's going to end up going down. And now with this Winston taking a lot of damage and a Discord Orb, he's going to end up falling. And that's Ox, and that's the point. Two minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. Two minutes will be added back. And so they'll have about four minutes aside of other team to get their final push going. Four minutes, seven seconds exactly as the spam goes out from Valen. Low charge right now, but has both bubbles available to be getting that higher charge. Christopher is going to be... Uh, having access to that Earth Shatter. They are going to have access to a Sound Barrier from Tazik here in just a moment, but again, the ultimate story flip-flops. Once again, offense going to be the one sitting with all of it. They have five. There's going to be an Earth Shatter, though. That hits on everyone. Can they capitalize on that? Christopher's going to charge and take out Reload. There's going to be a self-destruct coming out from the side. The defense, not too much. Happy Thermia doesn't get any kills with that. He will be getting back into his mech in just a moment. I see he's going to end up actually going down to Christopher. Christopher, very low HP, will end up falling in the end. And so far, the defense is stabilizing all right, but maybe not enough there is actually those kills at the last second were enough for them to basically fall apart. Dead Eye going to be coming out here from the side of Kiss Up. It doesn't end up getting that much. The rest of the defense will be respawning, but they only have one good successful defense to go here. Dead Eye going to make that much harder as the Reinhardt Barrier is only going to protect so many. Dead Eye only one second away. They're going to use the Graviton Surge to zone him, and that is going to be the point, guys, taken in 5 minutes and 49 seconds. So I'll go ahead and enter that into my stopwatch for you guys. It's been a lot of five something these today. Had a 551, a 554, now a 549. Just been a lot. Absolutely a lot. So, King's Row, five minutes, 49 seconds, time to beat. Can choke Overwatch. Take out the offense of other team. That's what we'll be finding out in just a moment, guys. I'm going to take a short break to drink some water. And then we'll be getting right into the match. Right into the action. Of the first map of this best of five between Choke and other team. Sorry guys, spilled a little bit. That was fail fish. <laughs> Took way longer than expected, but got my water. I'm hydrated. I'm ready to go. And I'm ready for this action. Oh, I love that. I love that uh, emote. Come on, new boot again. I like how they're just standing here in like almost formation. Just like, hey, what's up? Looks like just Reload going to be practicing his shots on the Moo. As you can see, their shots are going to be going through Moo, so he's got pretty good aim on that, but... Nonetheless, guys, this offense is about to begin. This map is about to be decided here on King's Row. Offense going to be moving through here to be getting onto the payload and are onto the first point, activating the payload and starting the match. Time worked. We're underway. Five minutes and 40 seconds remaining. As Christopher is going to go over to the right side, and the rest of his team is going to go over to the left, as it looks like they are going to be doing a little bit of poke here with that Genji, of course, climbing up the wall and jumping up and continuing to damage. There's a volley coming out from Darius, doing a fair bit of damage and getting himself up that uh, charge, but not enough quite yet. As there's going to be a speed boost offense going in aggressively, going in together. That's what you need to see as an offense. Christopher going to end up trading, we are taking out Hypothermia as Rila takes out Ox, but so far, all of the uh, offense is getting completely, our defense is getting completely cleaned up. It's basically just Harsman. I'm trying to switch to him, but I can't find the right key. He's basically down to 14 HP. He's down super low. He's going to get cleaned up, and that was a disgusting push coming out, guys. 40... Two seconds needed exactly to take the first point, and that's going to give them a lot more time on the clock, meaning exactly five minutes, five seconds remaining for them to be able to take the next parts of the map. And that's what you need in their kind of situation. There's going to be the hook coming out, taking out Ox as Valen gets that kill. That will stall up the offense a little bit, but it shouldn't give the defense too much of an opportunity to completely shut them down. But I say that Tazik ends up going down, and so does Christopher. And they might just push off the back of this and go for maybe a little bit of a spawn camp, but they're going to go for a archway hold. Meaning they're going to set up right about here. They're going to try to use this area right here to their advantage. This building, this corner right here, that high ground, and of course this back flank is something that both teams can take advantage of. Pushing forward, looking for that action, looking for those kills. 
It's gotta be Kissel right now. He's gonna be ahead by busting out the set at the P. And initiation is there and Happy Thermia with an amazing Earth Shatter. Gonna be canceling out pretty much all of it. Rila though, gonna be using the Dead Eye. Does get canceled up. Of course, Move is standing in the center of that. That's gonna cancel all that damage a second. Trend, second trend, since it's going out this time for the defense, it's going to keep their HPs high as Ox takes a lot of damage. Ends up going to Valen after he was left folks in the head. Flashbang as well. Going to help take out that uh, Lucio there. And now it's just basically Chipsa as he's going to be able to get out alive, but barely as his teammate Darius on that Zenyatta low himself. And now the clock is ticking down lower and lower. 352 remains on the clock as the side of other teams seems to have stably held here at the arch for now. Ultimates are going to be coming up available here as Harspin is going to have his... Nuke it. Self-destruct available. There is going to be Rila on that Deadeye at 15%. And uh, Happy Thermia with his Urshad. There's going to be that uh, Nuke it. Can they get a lot out of it? It looks like, yes, he ends up taking out Christopher. Christopher not able to flick the barrier in time. And Harspin able to get in the mech before he ends up dying, which means he's going to have more HP and able to fight it out. Velen ends up taking out Chipsa. And the rest of the offense from Choke Overwatch is going to be forced back. And they're just not in a good spot. What are you doing, Zenyatta? In an awkward position and ends up getting cleaned up. That's Darius. Easy kill for the defense. And that's going to be four dead here. And that's going to stagger the spawn of the Zenyatta, making it that much harder for them to be able to continue moving forward. They need to get another group up going. They need another, get, to get another push going. As I check up on the time, 3 minutes and 5 seconds remains total for them here in this match. Or in this map. Kissa. Kissa. Can he get anything with this Deadeye as they push forward? There's going to be a charge and an Earth Shatter. This time the Earth Shatter doesn't do that much, but it doesn't count. Does he? Neither does the Deadeye. As Kissa. Uh, his dead eye is not nearly as good as Rila. Gets himself a double kill, taking out Ox and Tazic, and now the hook as well, gonna help deck out Chipsa. And again, the side of the oh, other team looking very good right now. As Choke Overwatch is having a hard time getting themselves into this match, Darius will get himself a kill onto that Diva, but that's about it so far. They haven't had any more opportunities. They haven't had any more good looks. There's gonna be a speed boost going forward, but they are up one hero. Can they capitalize on it? Can they do something with this? So far, nothing has happened. Chipsa getting very close to a Death Blossom. As of course the Death Blossom is one of those ultimates that can just wipe a team and change the outcome of the entire match, but so far, other team is looking very stalwart in their defenses. As Nurse Shatter is going to go out hitting on multiple, it looks like, as the uh, push forward from Chipsa, he's taking a lot of damage. Rila's going to end up taking out Christopher. Rila's going to get himself a second kill on to Tazic. Rila continuing to get more shots, doing damage to Tazic as the Transcendence comes out from the Zenyatta, preventing most of that damage. There's going to be a self destruct going out. Nuke it. Meteor, not too much as the kill on the move from Ox. Or other way around, move to Ox as Chips ends up taking out Valen. The only answer for them so far, but Fission ends up answering in the background and takes him out. And that's going to be the next offensive push cleaned up with only 1 minute and 39 seconds remaining, guys. It's getting closer and closer to that awkward point of no return as they're not going to have the time on the map left available to even get to the payload to the final point, even if they wanted to. So we'll see if that's going to be the case, whether or not they're going to be able to. 1 minute 25 seconds remains on the clock here as the offense is going to continue to push forward here. Rila with the dead eye available. There's going to be a death blossom chips that they needed that. They needed that big time. A quad kill, actually. Now they need to capitalize off the back of this. Make it a five kill. Quintuple. Chips is going to continue to chase it out. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for the last kill because they need to stagger the spawns. They only have 1 minute and 7 seconds left on this map to go ahead and take it, but they do have the time. It isn't mathematically impossible yet. And oh man, the drama here. Can Choke Overwatch get an early lead against the side of other team? I definitely put other team at the favorite. As basically, I put other team right now with Banana Fly's roster change as the team to beat in this entire event. As if other team is able to win here, it would put them in up at one, one point in the match. Choke Overwatch, though, beating that. If there's going to be a charge out, Happy Thermia ends up taking out Kissa. As Darius ends up taking out Happy Thermia, Nurse Shadow coming out from the side of the offense, but there's Visions. Sound barrier going to be bringing up a lot of the HP of his teammates, but so far the kill feed is going in their favor as Harspin's knocked out of the mech. Ox on a massive charge does have the Graviton Surge available, and it's going to happen during the end of that Transcendence 4 are caught in it. Can they capitalize on it? It looks like they will be able to, as there's really only Velen left. How many heroes are left? Only two. 21 seconds remaining. 21 seconds remaining. There's going to be the Earth Shatter as the charge goes through. There's going to be also a Transcendence. As the Reinhardt needs to fight it out as long as possible. He's stalling it up. 11 seconds remain. They need to get another hero here. Three minutes, two meters. Can they get that? That Lucio needs to stay alive as long as possible. Tracer's going to be that four seconds remaining, three seconds remaining, 0.5 meters remaining. And it looks like other team might have just barely done it in the end. And that's going to be time left. None, guys. Yep, so we are going to be going back to lobby. That is going to be me, guys, that has to do that. So let me check where we are going next. And then I will go ahead and update the titles as well. We are going to Hollywood next, so let me go ahead and update that, guys.
So one point will be awarded to other team as they were able to barely hold in that map. Best of five, guys. Choke Overwatch not nearly out of the series yet, but still, what a crazy match. Just waiting for the ready up, and that's going to be both teams ready to go. So we'll be starting, guys. Welcome to Hollywood. Prepare to attack. Yes. All right. So, 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 so. Choke Overwatch on the defense again. Started out here. We are going to have the offense first coming out from the side of other team. As their defense hold in Hollywood was looking absolutely amazing. They barely ended up stabilizing off the back of that. Could have gone either way at multiple points, but they ended up pulling it off nonetheless, guys. And now we move into Hollywood. Hello? Anyone out there? Um, gonna go ahead and pause the mic one more second, guys, to get a quick drink of water, and then we'll be right into the match, of course, on Hollywood here for the second map of this best of five series. Alright guys, all hydrated up and ready to go. Getting ready to start the stopwatch. The side of Choke Overwatch on the defense in Hollywood. Is there we go. Action underway any moment. Well, action underway now. It's just a question of what's going to be. Oof. Whoa. Chips up. That's a lot of damage right there. He's already up to 81%. 15 seconds into this game, guys. He's going to be having a rip tire if he hits one more grenade. And there we go. He has the rip tire. That's absolutely crazy. He's going to go ahead and just rip it off immediately as they're all going to be grouped up in there. This could be incredibly awkward for them. They're probably going to expect to come up the stairs, but it's actually going to come up their flank, and never mind, Rila is there to answer it. So what could have been an absolutely horrendous situation for the side of the offense ends up being averted, as even though that rip tire came up in literally 15 seconds, guys. Absolutely crazy here from Chipsa, but Choke Overwatch is going to be able to stabilize off the back of that. Nonetheless, might be able to um, actually just completely prevent this first offensive attempt here. We'll see, though, they do still have a McCree in the background, as Rila hasn't quite been able to be flushed out yet. Looks like he will go ahead and just give up on it, as Chipsa is spamming him out, making him no making it known that they are aware of his intentions and his position, as there's going to be a trap thrown on to the stairs, giving them a little bit of a better chance to stop that up, and the Ox, Rila getting those kills as well as Chipsa, but Rila getting himself a double kill in the end. That's what the offense needs right now, but the resurrection is there. And now, he's probably just going to try to hide out. He's going to flashbang the hook, but Ox ends up taking him out nonetheless, so... Not a problem there. Defense stabilized. 1 minute and 20 seconds on the clock so far, and they have stabilized in this map. But the question again becomes, can other team continue their tear? They barely won the last map by a total of 3 seconds. And they had a good start to the map. They had a good second section of the map. They just kind of blundered on the last section. So will that happen again? But so far, if we're looking at that as the story, it's not the same. It's a first point looking very good for the side of Choke Overwatch. Chips are going to be channeling out that tire. He knows where they all are, but all the pre-fire are going to be able to take out that uh, tire before it ends up doing anything, and now the grenade spam is going to prevent them from going through this door without taking a lot of damage. Chaz are going to be using the meditation in the middle of that fight. There's a sound barrier, like I said, but how much does that end up preventing? It doesn't look like too much as Rila does end up getting himself a kill, though, to start it off with, as Harsman is going to be able to take out Christopher Valen on Darius, and Chipsa does get himself one kill, and so does Kissa. But so far, the rest of their teammates are all dead, and there's only one member left alive, and that's Kissa as he's going to have to try to fight it out all alone, but he's going to get pre-fired from Mu and be taken out by Happy Thermia, as that's going to be the first point taken. Two minutes and 18 seconds needed to get it, but they do end up taking it nonetheless. Darius going to go ahead and... Great wall ready there by him. He's going to go ahead and get onto the high ground. Deadeye available here for the side of the defense from Kissa. Earthshatter as well available from Reinhardt. 
there. Gonna be chasing down onto this diva. Happy Thermia a little deep in. Out of her mech. Gonna be very easy to clean up. And that's Happy Thermia dead now. Relight and team. Gonna be all alone. Good there. Gonna get her shattered up. Fire strike through. Valen's gonna get cleaned up as well. That's Kissa with a triple kill. Chips up with one. And that's gonna be basically all of that offense there. Preventing the next push from really happening for another 10 seconds. And actually that kill from Chipsa. The headshot on the move. That's gonna prevent the offense even more. As of course they are gonna have to wait for that staggered spawn to go ahead and occur. Yeah, Winston, we know. My is charging. We got we got your puns, Winston. 47% here on this Dragon Blade. There's going to be a jump in from the Winston. He's going to drop that barrier. Gets time for the team to fight, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen too well as Rila ends up getting a kill onto him immediately. There's the suicide. Doesn't end up doing too much itself. As so far, Hypothermia ends up just killing himself? I'm so confused. He, he killed himself, but he's still alive. And it wasn't a resurrection. Well... He ends up killing himself in the mech, it looks like somehow as Valen is going to end up taking out Christopher. That's a big kill, as there's not going to be a Reinhardt barrier to hide behind. Uh, Chips ends up going down as well as Valen gets that kill, and the Dragon Blade coming out from the Harspin might just be enough for them to be able to take this point here in a decent amount of time. 3 minutes and 48 seconds on the clock, used up, and 3 minutes 05 remains on the clock for them to be able to take the point. As you can see on your screen, guys, this Genji low on charge, but got a lot done. Oh, the dash does end up getting uh, does end up getting charged through. Happy Thermia gonna be taking that charge himself, and Christopher Rilo with that dead eye. How much can he get done so far? Not that much. As he ends up going down, and the defense seems to have stabilized at the last two meters of this point. Fire strike goes out. And they have most of the members in the point. That's basically just going to be the Genji in the background. This Harskin trying to harass the best he can. He drops to about 100 HP after taking some damage. And the Discord Orb on the back. And he chased out. Chipsa says, no, sir. Get out of my map. Go back to spawn. Start from the beginning. You get no free go. It's going to be Shurikens. Not doing too much there. Getting him up to about 25%, but does need to get a little bit more done there. As the defense matrix is going to prevent Happy Thermia from taking too much damage. But he still does take more. Chips are doing a great job spamming with the shurikens, getting the damage he needs done. And of course, that's just kind of the story of Genji, is you need to spam your shurikens, get that damage done, get those background harassment kills on the supports, pop that dragon blade, get a chain of kills, and then just snowball from there. And it looks like the offense is going to be going for the high ground control. We're going to go ahead and follow out onto Harspin and team as they've got control of Whiskey Jacks. Now looking over the payload, we're going to be looking for the proper initiation as the dragon blade is just going to be up in just a second for Harspin, 95%. There's going to be actually a dash through. With Chips as he's going to be doing his own harassment close to his own Dragon Blade. Dead Eye coming up from Rila. As they're also going to Dragon Blade at the same time with the Sound Barrier doing as much damage as possible. Will this Dead Eye get anything done? Rila ends up getting a kill and Kissa ends up getting a kill, but that's so far about it. As Harspin is taking a lot of damage from Christopher, and Christopher will end up taking him down. And that's going to be a Dead a Death Blossom coming out from Valen, but Valen doesn't get anything done with that Rila over the top, though. He's still alive. He's still doing lots of damage. Missing a few shots there. Caster Curse will land that shot and that flashbang. But now Genji might be able to take him out here. As Genji is in the middle of a transcendence, or sorry. Rila's in the middle of a transcend. It's Genji taking a lot of damage. Chips are going to end up going down. And Tazic will help take out uh, Rila in the end. But Fission still alive, getting a kill on Darius. Lucio and Lucio action going to the side of the offense as the Winston's going to have to back up here. As there is going to be a diva in the Winston backing up the supports. But not enough here. 50 seconds remain here for the side of other team as they have yet to cap the point. 50 seconds and counting as they do have a few ultimates available. Deadeye, self destruct, and that's it. Defense is going to have access to a Primal Rage and a Transcendent soon, as well as a Deadeye. But they're pretty far from everything else, at least meaningfully, for the next fight. It might be one more fight after this, guys, but it looks like the offense is going to go ahead and lead the clock down a little bit. So they have one good push left. They're going to go for an overtime push here. If they die here, this is going to just be it here. As they, everyone is topped off, this is the best opportunity they have. Deadeye going to be channeled. Will they get anything done with that? self the going to be in the middle of the barrier. Doesn't end up getting any kills, though. As Valen will end up going down. Rila. Actually, no, Valen's still alive. Barely alive. Actually, he does end up going down to Chips and me and Happy Thermia going to be doing it up against the Ox, but you don't want to take a monkey on as a team of Zero Suit. Rila's still alive, though. No, he's back at the spawn. I apologize. Harsman, he's the only one on the point. He's going to end up going down. That looks like it's going to be a full or a, a hold on to the second point here for the side of Choke Overwatch. As we'll be getting a round one complete. And Choke Overwatch able to hold. Woo. What a match, guys. What a winners. Semi-finals here. Or winners finals. As in uh, 30 seconds it will load, but uh, actually no, it's, it's right here. I apologize. So it is the furthest point you pushed it. They did change it. Interesting. It's no longer where the payload ends. It's the furthest point to which you pushed it. 
And if it's always been like that, then I guess I just haven't paid attention to it as much, but I always thought it was where the payload ended, so giving a little bit more to a defensive advantage, but at the same time, this good does give a, a little bit more of an advantage to the first offense and gives the second defense, uh, or the first defense, that opportunity to say, if, yeah, um, as long as we hold them here and we let it push back and we never let them cross any farther, we're good to go. But guys, this is going to be it. This is the point for the second map if the payload makes it to here. Choke Overwatch will be tying up the series one-to-one, -one, and we will be playing it out as a best of three from this point on. Defensive other team going to be getting in position here. There's only two of their members aren't here. More are going to be running in any moment now as we do have a Valen. Hypothermia. Getting into position here. Fission going to be speed boosting. Har spin out and Fission might be changing up. Let's see what he's getting. I would really like to see a, uh, a, a Anna, but nope. He's not going to go ahead and pick that. He's just going to stay on the Lucio. Just wall riding around for fun. Looks like it's what he was doing. Nothing too exciting there. All right. So, stopwatch not needed. Offense just needs to get to the point of progression. Can Choke Overwatch tie up the series, or will other team be able to hold at an earlier point and be able to take a match point situation where they're up two to zero. Just the early spam going out as both Reinhardts are going to be clashing it on their barriers. Not too much action outside of that. As you can see, the teams are going to be moving in here. Shocky Shocky from the Winston down below. Jump down from Happy Thermia. Maybe he just fell off. Kissa getting a kill on to Fission. Christopher going to be able to take out Happy Thermia. But Valen finally gets the first answer for the defense as he's able to take out Chips. Darius does take out another one, though. And those kind of kills are what they need right now. As another kill does go out onto uh, um, Darius. As Valen is the one able to get that kill. Rila Mu. Rila Valen Mu. Rila Valen Mu. What a series of players and kills. They needed that. Valen gets himself three kills on the fight. But Rila and Mu also answering in dur during that. Getting a lot done. And without that, they would have been basically... Um, up a, up a creek without a paddle is the uh, PC way to say that. That would not have been a good situation. They would have been almost um, almost lost in a lot of ways because they would have been able to actually stabilize there in, in, in that event. But there's going to be an Urshadr coming out from the side of the offense. Not going to get too much here as Valen and Harsman were able to get kills before that Urshadr really did too much. And a hook onto Ox. Ox is going to end up going down. That's 1 minute and 40 seconds used up. 1 minute and 20 seconds used up here on the first clock. And nothing yet to happen. Valen looking for the flanks mainly right now. There isn't obviously going to be any, but if there was any, he wanted to be ready for it. Rila going to be channeling that Deadeye. He ends up going down, though, to Ox in the end. His Kiss is channeling his own Deadeye. Does it get himself uh, two kills, it looks like. Meanwhile, in the background, we have Harsman on a massive Zarya charge. Going to be able to just melt through uh, Christopher. Needs to get another bubble up. Needs to be able to survive, but it looks like he's going to end up going down to Chips' sword. Two for two, as uh, only two are left on the point, and it's basically a two for two fight right now, as Tazic is... Uh, not, not back live right now, he needs to... No, he is still here. He's going to go ahead and pop up that uh, sound barrier, giving his team a little bit more health here. And it looks like they are going to be able to get onto the point. Valen ends up going down. Can the rest of the defense get onto the point and fight it out here? Fishing going to be using the healing boost and the amp it up. Going to be getting his team there on time, and now they might be able to win this fight and come out the back of it. We'll see. Sound barrier is available. It needs to be used very soon as there is going to be a Deadeye coming out from Rila. Doesn't end up getting that much as Mu ends up taking out one kill, but the bubble ends up saving Rila. In the end, it doesn't matter, though, as he does get hacked down by that Reinhardt. So far, the defense, though, isn't not in a bad position. Sarspin does have that Zarya bubble available for a teammate and does have the Graviton Surge in just a moment. Apologize, guys. Quick message from somebody that I needed to respond to in regards to another event. Just a quick response to that Graviton search. There is a transcendence though, so it shouldn't end up doing that much. We'll see. Kissa ends up taking out uh, the, uh, the Baylor, and that's one big kill for them so far. But um, they do need more than that. They want to take over this point as there is going to be the defensive uh, sound barrier coming out of here. Or defensive transcendence coming out as Darius is getting knocked down here, taking a lot of damage. There's going to be a Dragon Blade going out, but the Earth Shatter! Oh, the Earth Shatter ends up canceling that up, ends up stalling up the Winston. And that's going to basically mean that this push is cleaned up as well with 40 seconds remaining. Choke Overwatch is not in a good position, guys. Choke Overwatch may be just choking a little bit here. As they're falling behind in a bad position, Harspin up to 43% still, still does have 43% charge. Tazic does have a sound barrier available, sure. But so, uh, so, uh, they don't have that much, I guess, on the defense. But still, it's just, 
For 30, 20 seconds remaining, this has to be a good fight. Dead Eye is available. Winston does end up making it, but the flashbang ends up missing. That's what they kind of needed in that situation. Kiss does end up getting that kill. And again, that's exactly what they needed. But can they continue to fight off the back of this? Can they continue to get more kills? Valen is going to be able to get a kill. But so far, kill feed going massively in favor of the side of the offense. As Fission and Valen are basically the only ones left alive. Valen is trying to run around in a second. Actually, Christopher still gets that kill. And I forgot, Harspin still alive on that Zarya, doing a lot of damage up to a higher charge and is going to get the Graviton Surge. And Winston can't get out of that, which means that he will get pulse bombed up and cleaned up over time. Time, getting low 80% 80 charge, low health from Harspin. It looks like uh, Tracer will be able to get that kill. Kissa able to switch over to that, but ends up going down. Darius needs to be able to get on the point, but doesn't look like he's going to be able to. And that, no, it looks like Christopher was able to get on the point. He's still fighting it out with that defense matrix. He's going to get popped out of the mech now, but Tazic ends up going down. Now Christopher's all alone on the point. He's cleaned up. That's going to be overtime burning very quickly, and that's going to be a 2 to zero for the side of other team and i'm not i'm not gonna lie guys based on the previous defense that came up from choke overwatch i would have expected that to definitely go in the other side of uh choke overwatch but they don't end up taking it play the game coming out from kissa And that was just, that's not enough though. They needed to get their offense going. I mean, that's the end of the story in that situation. If you don't get your offense going after you have a hold like that. So. Next map. Oh yeah, I am the leader, so I'll be sending it back to the lobby. Old habits die hard. No, no, it's bit BO5. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, new bunny. Thought I saw them all leaving. Okay. So that's ending ready to go, guys. Once we went for both teams, Harspin is ready. Now we just need the side of Choke to go ahead and ready up, and we can get into this match. Choke probably just taking a minute to collect their thoughts. Down 0-2 in the series. Not a good situation to be in. Not a good situation at all to be down 0-2. Again, it is match point 2, guys. So it's a situation where the side of Choke Overwatch cannot make a single mistake on the next three maps. If any mistakes are made... To the point where other team is able to win it, it's over. Other team is moving straight into the finals, and the side of Choke Overwatch will have to go ahead and play one more to go ahead and win this out. So they're going to go ahead and just do their quick discussions, of course, guys, and then we'll be getting into the match in just a moment. Letting the good luck have fun go, and I will be starting it up. So here we go, guys, into Nimbani. Other team going to be on the offense once again to start it off with, and it looks like we are going to have the defense being the side of Choke. Traveling to Nimbani. Move unpredictably, guys. There you go. You heard it first here in the tips and tricks. If you move unpredictably, people can't shoot you. So, strafe that 80-80. King's Row, we were just there. If we uh, see Choke Overwatch win the next two maps, guys, we'll be going over here to Russia and Volskaya. But, of course, that's not all that Numbani flies to. Temple of Anubis and Hamora. Don't know why all the two CPs get mentioned here, but they do. Anamora, Temple of Anubis, and Volskaya. King's Row, of course, gets mentioned. So the most common map in all of competitive play, and then three of the most hated maps, basically. <laughs> this is, is what Nubani's airport is. Uh, that's where people like to travel, apparently. So, guys, we'll be getting into the introductions as we are halfway through the series here. There are some new uh, new people joining us, of course, so we will be reintroducing the players over here for the side of Choke Overwatch. We have Kissa, who's been playing McCree this whole time and been doing a decent job, but not quite good enough. Can he step up to the plate to get his team the opportunities they need to win this match? We'll find out. Christopher, going to be playing a Winston this time instead of a Reinhardt. We have Ox over here on a D 
Diva instead of a Winston. We have Darius going to be picking up a Mercy for the first time in the match, I believe, and Chipsa going to be picking up a Roadhog. And that leaves Tazik. He's going to be staying on the Zenyatta, as that seems to be a top pick for this event. No surprise there, as the hero did get buffs and has been doing a lot for the teams than when played properly. Over here for the side of the offense, for the side of other team, we have Harsman on a Genji, Happy Thermia on a Winston Valen going to be picking up the Diva Fission on his Lucio. No surprise there. Moo going to be picking up... Zenyatta, and last but not least, Rila has been destroying it on this Genji, so we'll be going on to him in just a moment. But here's going to be the uh, primary initiation coming out here from the backside. Harsman is going to take a lot of damage from Tazik in the backside. Ends up falling to that as Rila does have the flank. He's going to be in the background, going to be just tearing a shard ship as he wasn't ready for that with the Discord Orb. Lots of damage being done, and the offense was pushed, defense was pushed back into that room. Wasn't ready for them to be in the position that they were, and now McCree needs to win this duel against Rila, but so far both McCrees are just missing all their shots. Flashbang goes out. Fan the hammer misses as well, does still have the combat roll available and missing all the shots. Looks like Kiss is going to win this duel at this rate, and he needs to. If he doesn't win the duel, yes, he will end up winning the duel. Misses that one headshot, and Harsman will end up taking him out with Vision. Two ticks so far secured, and that's not a good sign for the side of Choke Overwatch fans it's, uh, as they've lost actually two uh, full ticks now, and it's going to be moving on into the third. As of course, the members dying in the order in which they are, and the raid in which they are, is not a good sign for the defense. As Winston will jump into the air, land on the ground on top of Harsman, but it's just not enough damage. He's dropping super low. Christopher down to 300 HP. There's going to be a Primal Rage popped up by Happy Thermia as he's going to go for the zoning, but there is a Zenyatta ultimate. That transcendence will it give the defense enough HP to fight this out. We'll find out, but it doesn't seem like it is Kiss's Deadeye. Doesn't end up doing that much. Rila's Deadeye ends up doing a fair bit more as it is going to be a team kill. Christopher does switch over to the Reinhardt, but he's going to be punished with a short spawn. And you know what? He's the only one that spawns short. If they if they paid attention to this, they were counting spawns. They should see it. They should hunt him down. And now Christopher is going to be isolated. Christopher is going to get hunted down. And they should just clean him up. And there we go. Rila is going to clean him up. And that's going to be no Reinhardt for 10 more seconds. And the payload is going to move around the corner unabated. 1 minute 42 seconds used up on the clock. 5 minute 15 seconds remains on the clock for them to go ahead and take the second point. Happy Thermia going to be zoning on the high ground, looking for those kills, giving his team more opportunities, but so far, oh man, it's just not been a good situation for the side of Choke Overwatch. They've been definitely dealt, My ultimate is dealt a bad hand in this match. They've been, not been playing at the best either, but at the same time, the opportunities have been coming up for other team. They've been lining up their ultimates better, and they've been having, uh, in general, just better ultimates uh, pound for pound on the heroes that are, you know, the mirror heroes that they are running. And Kissa going to be using that Deadeye right now. Doesn't end up getting that much done. Now going to be recharging. And as Valen gets himself a triple kill self-destruct. Going to be getting himself a fourth here. Actually, Valen ends up taking it. But still, Pistol doing a lot of damage. Isn't even switching over into the mech yet. Of course, using that Diva Zero Suit to use that pistol damage as much as possible. It does do a fair bit of damage. And of course, it does also provide your team with extra damage. That uh, is a distance damage that you can't otherwise have as D.Va. This is kind of the benefit of D.Va is her zero suit does have that kind of uh, double playability there. And it's going to be on fire now as Valen is up to 50% on the next ultimate. Chipsa does have a Dragon Blade coming up here soon, but Harspin has it sooner. Sitting at 88% versus 66, and there's going to be a Deadeye coming out from Kissa. It needs to really get something done. I'm not... Uh, I'm not really feeling the game right now for choke overwatches they do get a few kills here but it's just not enough there's going to be an earth shatter from christopher it might just be enough tazik is going to uh sorry there's going to be a um ultimate use there a zenyatta ultimate from the offense but tazik going to go ahead and use his but now he's just all alone he's going to stall it up as much as possible wouldn't be surprised if he just goes for an emote as he's all alone surrounded by five six heroes it's, it's going to end up going down but he did stall it in another few seconds here giving his team a little bit of a breathing room, but 3 minutes and 25 seconds, 29 seconds used up on the clock, guys. 5 minutes, 27 seconds remain to take this point, and it's looking like a story that's going to end in other team being able to take the map. With this kind of offense, this kind of speed, it's going to be very hard for them to be able not to, as we are going to have a very in the background happy time. We have Pot tailing that time for trying to rage. Time of rage, doing a lot of zoning and just harassment, getting the other Winston out of the fight. Ox now going to be jumping in the background on to Kiss, so that's basically all of the team dead. Only Christopher remains, and that should be probably a team kill, as they are going to be able to get the payload to the point, and I'm going to be stopping my stopwatch right now, as round one complete, 4.02 is going to be my time that I get. Not looking good for the side of Choke Overwatch, guys. They are looking a bit outclassed by the side of other team, and again, if I was going to be betting on this event, if I was going to be betting on this match, that's probably what I would be saying. Um, most likely is a 3-1-3-0 for the side of other team over Choke Overwatch most of the time, but at the same time, I am definitely have a hope that Choke Overwatch can get something going and just clean the floor 
with the side of other team. But with the kind of time on the clock, guys, four minutes, that means they have one minute to do every section of the map with only one minute for wipes, for mistakes. One minute that they can make mistakes, they can miss shots. Otherwise, they need to be having all of that minute for every other section of the map. It takes 45 seconds to get the payload through each section without, and, and, and I mean like, like 30 to 45 seconds. And that, of course, is not accounting for the fact that people can just pop on it. And when you're at this kind of time bank, this kind of time situation, sacrificing your life for 5-10 seconds to stall can literally change the outcome of the match. Assuming that that doesn't get your team into a situation where you're in a bad spawn cycle, that is a game-winning decision to be making on the defense when you have a time bank advantage or a time uh, stopwatch advantage. Happy Thermia actually going to be busting out the Torbjorn. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I don't like that. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a fan for the Aardvark. Just spamming the Aardvark. Aardvark pays off. Aardvark pays off. Just just walk up to the enemy spawn. Spam that a few times. Go back to your spawn. Casual. Filthy casuals, right? Anyways, guys. We'll be getting into this match in just a moment. We'll be starting the stopwatch right in a second. And there we go. Stopwatch is started. It's working on your guys' screen, so you're good to go. Just a little bit of fun here from the defense of other team, but... The fun ends here as the side of Choke Overwatch with a mission, with a goal to beat a time of four minutes and two seconds on this map. Can they do it? We'll find out. He's going to be going in immediately. It's going to be the Genji. Chips is going to get stunned up and he's taking a lot of damage from that turret. He's going to end up going down to Happy Thermia's turret. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Allergy season. As uh, looks like uh, Fish, Fishing is going to end up taking out Ox. As Fishing gets himself a second kill, taking out Tajik. Oh, I apologize, guys. That scene just absolutely threw off my flow. Oh no, that's not what you needed to see as your fans of took Overwatch. They could not afford to make that. They have one more opportunity in a lot of respects, guys. If they mess up this next push, if they mess up this next take, it's not going to be a very high probability that they're going to be able to take the point at all, given the situation that they're in right now. So we'll see if they're able to pull it off. We'll see if they'll be able to do a jump in from Winston is the hook. You heard it. It missed. Dashing going across onto Torbjorn. Torbjorn does have the primal rage, so he's going to activate that up, and it looks like Happy Thermia is going to be able to take him out. And with that kill, guys, the time is slowly ticking down. 2 minutes and 58 seconds remain. Happy Thermia in the Molten Core getting himself more damage. Looks like he's going to be able to do a fair bit of damage to Kissa. Or sorry, to Tazik. But of course, with that Deadeye, uh, that ends up going down. Nothing going to end up happening at that. And lots of scrap on the ground for Happy Thermia to be throwing out. And you can see the HP bars at the beginning of these fights, guys. Is massively Why isn't he going for that scrap? It's really easy to get to. And they are just going to go ahead and call GG, guys. As uh, that is just going to be the end of the game, guys. And there's really no other way to say it. Unfortunately, they weren't able to make it in the time of the match. As you guys can see, there was only 2 minutes 22 seconds remaining to make it through the entirety of the match. And if they would have failed at all in any moment there, they just would have been done. They would have been out. So we will be seeing a 3... Sorry, let me update this um, really quick. Sorry, a 3-0 to zero for the side of other teams. So you guys see that. Three to zero. Congratulations with that team. You're moving straight into the you're straight moving straight into the finals. Congratulations there. We're gonna be moving on into the losers bracket finals here next. I'm not sure about the status of the other losers bracket round. I'll be figuring that out in a second, guys. But again, thank you so much for tuning in. We still have two more matches, one more best of five, and then a best of seven with the winners bracket one game advantage going over to the side of other team as they won this three to zero. But again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching Superstar League. Definitely follow the channel down below to get more updates and information when the stream goes live. Follow at Superstar Esport on Twitter for updates about uh, the league as it's going on, season two, when it's announced, etc. And of course, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel slash uh, Superstar League as that is where all the VODs are uploaded. Those VODs will be uploaded for this right after this into a separate playlist for the playoffs of the event. But again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Raptor ZOW. You can follow me on Twitter. If you guys enjoy my casting, you can check out my YouTube.com slash user slash Jota Raptors for my Stratwatch series, my personal cast that I upload there, and as well as definitely uh, check out my Twitch channel as well as I cast there, Twitch TV slash Jota Raptors. I'm hosting this, um, but uh, you can go check out that there. But that's about it for me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take it to a quick break so I can get some water, get some more coffee, and get right into the next match for you guys as a course. We'll be having the losers final up next as I, whoops, as I do this and I got to pull up this and I got to select a new region. Just want to make this look nice and good for you guys. As uh, I seek to. Why is it not? I'm sorry, guys, I'm having trouble with the production. I will get this fixed up in just a second. Because it does want to go, for some stupid reason, to my stopwatch for, for the screen capture. But that's 
that's not what we want captured. We want the bracket captured. So we will be capturing that instead. So there we go, guys. That is going to be the bracket. Pulled up in the center of your screen. Putting that right there. I'm going to go ahead and take a web webcam switch it over to some music, guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching the Superstar League EU Premier League Season 1 Playoffs going on right now. You just finished watching the Winner Bracket Finals, Loser Bracket Finals coming up next.